morning, friends, and happy new vlog. Um, my hair looks so funny. This is what happens when I sleep with my hair all big and then put it in a bonnet and then it gets so condensed during the day. That's why I don't love day two hair, uh, but we're gonna make it work. So yesterday I went and I had to drive an hour. This still looks kooky, hang on. <laughs> So yesterday I drove an hour away to go pick up my glasses because I went, I had to go to Walmart for new glasses because I actually went to Costco for new glasses. Um, and it turns out I don't have a membership there anymore. Um, I was under my ex's account because he worked for Costco. So I was like under his free account. And I guess after many, 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 many years, he finally removed me. So rude, cause I needed Costco in my time of need. So I was like, oh shoot, I gotta go to Walmart then to get glasses. Cause I went to like, what's the other sunglass, the other glass place, Lens Crafters. Lens Crafters is expensive, man. I had no idea. And then I went to Warby Parker, which is much more affordable, but I just wasn't vibing with any other styles. So Walmart it was, but it was closer to my hometown and there aren't actually Walmarts in LA. So I thought they were gonna send them to me, but I had to go pick them up. So that was kind of annoying. So I went yesterday to go pick them up. So these are my old glasses for reference. These are my new ones. They're by, they're by Flower. So. Thanks, Drew Barrymore. Um, and here's what we got. So kind of similar, a little bit, I kind of wanted them on the nerdier side. I like thinner frames. And these had a little bit more of a cat eye than these ones. I actually still think I prefer these, the look of these on me because when they have like the, the frames that don't fully go down in color, I don't know. I'm still getting used to them. I feel like they're kind of old lady glasses. Mm but I don't know, I have to live with them because these were a lot more expensive than I thought. Do you know it's like over 200 bucks to get glasses? Like they get you by being like, frames over here starting at 50 bucks. I'm like, oh yeah. And then they're like, oh, and then actually put your prescription is is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, I can't afford this. So old lady glasses it is, they work. And the best part is I can see in them. That's the ideal situation. Uh, let me show you the next thing on our to-do list. So my sister is getting married again in Puerto Rico in I think like, less than a month now. Oh my gosh, like three weeks now. Oh, not so soon. Um, and my bridesmaids dresses just now came in. So I got two from the website Azazi, which is just like a bridesmaids dress superstore. And I got them in two different sizes and two different styles. So that way we could see like which one fits me better and which one I like better. Um, so my color was teal. So I got two teal dresses. Uh, so let's try them on and see if they fit and look cute. All right, so here's dress number one. It's got this V-neck with this cute little frilly thing. Sorry the lighting's so bad in my bedroom. Uh, hopefully I'm getting a ring light for my birthday soon. Um, so it has a slit here. This is so me. I actually think I wore this like very similar cut for her first wedding, which was just a backyard wedding during COVID. Um, however, it does not fit. I feel like in three weeks, I could like go hardcore in the gym and make this fit. Um, so this is a possibility. This is option number one. I really like this, but it also just feels so me that it's like, have I worn this dress before? Probably. Um, it would also need to get hemmed, uh, cause it's long and I don't know if I have enough time to get it hemmed. I mean, I tried it on with my heels and it like barely touches the ground, but let's see the other one. Let's see the other one. All right. We have a winner with this dress hands down. So this one has a little curtainy detail on the bottom, but it's short enough that I don't need to get hemmed even with heels on. And it feels like nothing I've worn before. I like this square top. Um, I feel like it looks flattering and it fits. So I got this one a size up because again, I wanted two different sizes. So sneak peek, this is my maid of honor dress for my sister's wedding in a few weeks. I feel lovely. Well, can't wait to wear this in Puerto Rico. I'm honestly really relieved I don't need to get this hemmed and that it's already like ready to go. So cool, I can cross that off my list. I just need to return that dress. Let me see. So I think to return that dress, it's like free returns, but I just have to pay for shipping and shipping was like 20 bucks. So I'm losing 20 bucks on it, but worth it to get like my $60 back for it. These dresses were like pretty inexpensive. They were less than $100 each, which is pretty good for like a maid of honor dress. I was actually trying to like thrift something or possibly rent something, but it was just getting too down to the wire and like color was very specific that it was just easier to buy it. So I'm really happy about this one. So nice job. All right, next item on today's agenda is we need to get some Instagram pics. So my Newly Box, which is my clothing rental service that I use, 
is due this weekend and I'm like ah shoot I haven't taken any photos in my outfits which is kind of the whole point of why I'm renting my clothes is for like using it for special occasions but also to like have new outfits to wear on social media um so we're gonna get some Instagram pictures today I think it's so funny because I love Instagram. I think it's actually one of my personal favorite social media platforms to create content for. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at reels. I'm not good at fashion posts, but I love like getting dressed up and taking photos. Like it's just so fun for me and I like my whole little color scheme. So I enjoy doing it. So we're going to go out today and get some photos. The first outfit, ugh, you can't see, it's a, I'm wearing overalls with like just a hoodie. I wore these overalls in my Disneyland vlog. I think I'm going to pair it with these fun sunglasses that I've never worn. Fun fact, every pair of sunglasses that I own is free because when I moved into this apartment, Goodwill was having a sale where when you spent a dollar, you got like a free pair of sunglasses. And I was buying so much for my apartment, like thrift shopping, that I got a free pair of sunglasses every time. And so this was just another fun pair that I've always just had hanging around, but I've never worn. So this is gonna be outfit number one. Again, rented from Newly, not sponsored, but we're gonna head out into the streets and find a photo backdrop. All right, so I needed a white background, so I'm just standing in front of somebody's garage and I have my clicker with me. Oh no, where's my clicker? Okay, I have my clicker with me, so I'm getting a couple photos, just something casual, nothing too like, oh my God, look at me, because I'm just in overalls, I'm casual, it's fine. Also, that's what I like about renting clothes, is I would, I don't think I've ever owned like short overalls, but this is such a cute outfit, like I feel so adorable. Um, I wouldn't buy them, but it's fun to rent them, so I'm having fun with this. So, photo number one, done all right so here's the next outfit i have a little headband in i don't know if i like it enough but i have this shirt and i have not worn it at all this month while it's been rented because it was just too big and just like too much but i also love these green shorts it has like one of those like a lot of buttons instead of a zipper i first got these and i was like dang it these are too tight but i wanted a photo in it and i put them on now and they fit great I don't know what that means, but now I'm like, dang it, I could have been wearing this outfit the whole time. Let me turn the camera around. So here's it with the shorts and then the shirt, as you can see, it's just kind of like, it's just probably a size and a half too big. Uh, but with the contrast of the tight shorts, it's pretty cute. And I'm like, dang it, I should have worn this. Maybe I'll go out to dinner tonight just so I can wear it. Uh, so this themed color for this Instagram photo is going to be green. So we're gonna go look for a green backdrop. And then I also grabbed, uh, this is like a fake ceramic coffee cup that I've had since high school and I love it very much. This is a prop in a lot of my photos. So I'm just gonna go take a cool, casual, cool girl photo. Cool girl, what the heck, cool girl. Maybe I'll get more sunglasses instead of the headband. Headband, sunglasses, uh, I don't know. So just finished at set number two. I used this big green wall as kind of my background. Um, and then someone came outside and was like, excuse me, what are you doing? And I was like, just taking photos. And they're like, oh, okay. And then you could hear them go back into their house and go, she's just taking photos. <laughs> so I guess I was making them uncomfortable because I was right outside of their house. But that's the nature of being a content creator, you know? Got to go out into the wild and find weird backdrops, even if it's kind of in front of somebody's house. So it wasn't their property, so they couldn't ask me to leave. But I was kind of standing in front of their house, so I could see how that would be weird. Um, but I got all the photos I needed. So I started to get a little camera shy because of that. But luckily, I think I got everything I needed. So that's all the Instagram photos that I need today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Ah, good morning. It is a few days later and I am ready to carry on with the Instagram content because again, I do need to return these clothes soon and I need my content out of them. Now, one of the, this hair is bugging me. One of the main items that I rented this month was because it's my birthday month. It's actually my birthday on July 23rd and I really wanted to do an Instagram birthday photo shoot. I see a lot of people doing that and I was like, I want to do one of those. Um, and so while I was perusing newly to rent an outfit, I really wanted a showstopper. I really wanted something that's gonna catch people's eye. And so I rented the most beautiful emeraldy blue jumpsuit. Oh my gosh, I feel like Harry Styles when I wear this. It fits me like a glove. It's from the brand Sailor and it is the most beautiful thing. It is probably one of the most high quality pieces I've ever worn and I would buy it, except you can't wear things like this all the freaking time. I did wear this though to a rooftop bar and then out to a musical with family. So I'll include some pics and boomerangs here where I put a shirt over it and dressed it down a little bit with some black boots to convince myself, should I buy this? I can dress it down. And I'm like, no, no, JC, 
you don't need a big sequence jumpsuit because you only need to wear it once. So this is gonna be the focal point of today's photo shoot. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do it right here in my bedroom. So I bought some props from the dollar store. So I got this, this B-Day blow up -y balloon. Um, so that'll be fun to play with. I also got some, what are these, like gift wrap, some gold foil because I wanna try to create a backdrop on my closet doors. Uh, but these are from the Dollar Tree, so this is probably not enough, but we're gonna make it work. And then I went to the grocery store today. Get this, this is so funny. I went to the grocery store because I was like, I wanna be popping champagne for my birthday in my photo. Uh, and then I was looking at the price of champagne and I was like, oh, I wanted the blue one, which was like, I don't know, the Lambrusco? I don't know champagne because I wanted it to match the jumpsuit. And then I was like, dang, champagne's kind of expensive. And I don't even like champagne. So I had in my cart, like the $5 Cook's bottle of champagne. And then as I was walking through the bakery, I was like, you know what? Champagne's not really me. I'm gonna buy myself a big ass cupcake. So I have a big ass blue frosted cupcake in the freezer that will serve as my prop. And I bought some candles and that'll be my prop. So we're gonna play around and start creating a backdrop and see if we can make it work. All right, let's see how much Ugh, wrapping paper is in these bad boys. Not enough for full body photos, that's for sure. Hmm. I should have gotten more. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm working with. I have my B-Day balloon. Um, considering Instagram's gonna go up and down, I might be able to work because I can Photoshop the sides out and increase the size of the background. Um, so we're gonna give it a few goes and if it's not working, I'll take it down. So let me finish my hair and makeup and then put on my glittery jumpsuit. All right, finish my hair and makeup. I don't love the way my hair turned out. I waited too long to diffuse it. So it's like not shaped properly, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. But here, you can't even see it. Let me put you on the tripod. Here's the jumpsuit reveal. I feel like I'm a member of ABBA. I want to go out to a disco tonight, um, but there are no discos. So I'm gonna take photos on my DSLR because the lighting in here is terrible and I'll be able to get better lighting control. Um, but we'll see if this backdrop works. I think I'm gonna put on some white boots to really give the full effect because you have to see that it's a jumpsuit and if it's up and down, it might be okay. So let's get to taking photos. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if this background is gonna, is gonna work, it's just not big enough, especially if I wanted to get my whole outfit in it. Oh, this is hard. Come on. Oh, holy moly, I am sweating up a storm. Uh, but I got my little cupcake, well, it's a big cupcake, and some candles. I'm not gonna light it just yet. I wanna get my framing right, and then I'll light it because my hair is a fire hazard. But on to the next mid-size shot. Are my eyelashes already coming off? We'll fix it in post. Ah, it's too breezy. Oh no, am I gonna have to edit flames in post? Oh man, I'm gonna have to turn off my fan. <sighs> okay about to get really hot in here because my candles keep blowing out because my fan's going. So I'm gonna be sweating even more now. Come on. Whoa. Too bright. Why'd the flash go off? Mm. Oh, it's just, <laughs> it's just like the stickiest, sweetest. It's delicious, it's a cupcake, but man, is this sweet. <laughs> All right, so I'd say that went decently successful. Uh, the cupcake turned my tongue blue, but I still have more TikToks to film. So hopefully that won't be noticeable. So now I'm gonna film some birthday TikToks while I'm in my cute mermaidy jumpsuit. I feel so pretty in this. <laughs> Picks are going smoothly, but I took too long and now it's that weird time of day where the sun is just directly going into my living room. So the sun reaches all the way back here and it's just too hot. I'm just too sweaty and the lighting isn't good for videos cause it's like, this is what it is and I don't want that. <laughs> so we're gonna take a snack break. Let me show you what I've been eating this week. I've been making these weird like poke bowls, uh, but then I bought seaweed and now I've been making like poke wraps, almost like 
constructed sushi, if you will, but it's literally like poor man sushi because I used leftover quinoa that I had instead of rice. I marinated some cucumbers because I eat so many cucumbers. I'm on a weird cucumber fix. And then I bought some seaweed salad. I threw in some edamame beans and some ginger and some spicy mayo on top. It's been pretty good, um, pretty cheap. Oh, I also used canned tuna with, that was like mixed with the spicy mayo. So it's like spicy canned tuna, like spicy tuna. I don't know, it's super cheap, but it's been hitting the spot and it's been delicious. So gonna eat this, probably scroll through some TikTok, wait for the sun to go down and continue on with my TikToking and Instagramming. You get it. It's the next day and I guess it's time for a sleeping update. Um, my sleeping issues have gotten worse. So if you're not, if you're not aware, I have some type of sleep issue. It's been going on since I was in high school, but I could sleep 12 hours a night, no problem. Um, I just obviously don't allow myself to all the time because I have things to do. Uh, but even when I allow myself to sleep that much, I'm still chronically tired and need to nap all of the time. And that's the case of last night. Last night, I think I slept 10 or 11 hours and it's now two o'clock and I'm like, I need a nap. I'm so tired. My eyes feel so heavy. My brain is just not working that I'm debating napping. But it's like, I got enough sleep, but I'm still tired. The other issue too, I don't know if I've told you guys this or not, but I am a very, very, very vivid dreamer. Um, I can remember all of my dreams. I have journals upon journals upon lists of all of my dreams because I used to track them. I kind of go in and out of tracking them because I just remember all of my dreams and it's like, what's the point of remembering these? I just, I don't go back and look at them. Uh, but last night it didn't even feel like a dream. It felt like I was living in another universe. Um, so I don't know what disease that is. I don't know if I'm quantum jumping. I don't know if I'm just in an alternate reality or what, but it's like, I don't know, it just makes me tired. And sometimes I think like, I don't wanna go to sleep cause I don't wanna freaking quantum jump tonight. But then other times I'm like, maybe I'll just take another nap and see where my, where my brain takes me, what new adventure and journey we can go on. So I don't know, it's kind of getting out of hand. So I guess the update is that uh, I don't have insurance, uh, so I can't get an, a sleep study. And if I wanted to, I'd have to go through several doctors to get referred to some type of sleep specialist and I just don't have the time or insurance or money for that. So the next best option for me would to save up would be to save up for an elective sleep study. Um those are thousands of dollars like starting at a thousand dollars. And I have other things I need to buy before just figuring that out. But considering how much it's impacting my day-to-day -day activities and how I just can't get anything done um, that might need to be a priority. So that's the sleeping update. Um, I'll bring it up here and there if I have any other updates, but just know there's been no improvement and it's getting worse. <laughs> Not great. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because I'm tired. I had other things I was going to include in this vlog, but I'll keep this one short and keep the next one more long and luxurious like my hair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs>